Yeah, my name is Bigfoot, and I'm down here to see Howard. I tell him some stories. And you've got a lot. You've got some, uh, some yeah. frustration. You no, know, I got some frustration on I almost put somebody's neck off up there while I was up there this last time. Wow, you're like a firecracker this morning. Uh, yeah, I am. I got a lot of frustration built up in me. So you might explode. Oh, I might. Uh, I don't like... I'm handling it pretty good at this, I think. Okay, well, good. Uh, as much as I got on my mind, I'm, I think I handled it pretty good. All right, well, hopefully you have a good time in there today with Howard. Yeah, I pl I'll try to. And hi to the audience. Bigfoot, come on in. Everybody loves Bigfoot. <laughs> you know, if you'd like to book... If you'd like to book Bigfoot for an appearance, you can email Bigfoot at... Guiding Light Marketing at Yahoo.com. Guiding Light Marketing at Yahoo.com. I think Will was indicating that Bigfoot smells of it today. What, booze? I don't know. He was just waving his hand under his nose saying that, you know, he was catching a <laughs> whiff of something. Bigfoot, what's going on? Oh, quite a lot of this. I almost got mugged while I was down <laughs> down here uh, this morning. Well, what do you mean? I mean, you're such who a... Who would mug you? Who would mug you? Aren't people afraid of you? I mean, how tall yeah. are you? I'm six foot four inches tall. And you're a big man, and you obviously can fight. Yeah, I can fight you. I almost had a fight with uh, Terry uh, Collins up in uh, Newport. It is. Why? He, he punched me in the jaw, it is, and I swung around, it is, and got in his face, it is, and I was about ready to elbow him. You're a little old to be fighting with people like this. This is stuff but kids do. Fight hey, like that's a how retard. I keep my... My strength is going to this. Yeah, how's it going? The last phone call you had with Richard there was terrible. I mean, I know so it's getting worse and worse while it goes on. I understand you're homeless now. Do you? Know? I'm not completely homeless. I found a back door way through a apartment building. It is somebody is renting it is, and it's not in my name, and it's not in anybody else's name. It's in somebody else's name. Right, and I no. want to show you something here. <laughs> I got discrimination papers here. It is on two landlords up in Newport. It is one is. Well, one, you don't one, have to mention names of people, right? Why are they discrim? What do you mean discrimination papers? I mean, people don't want you to live at their place, and you're getting upset. But you gotta, you know, where are your teeth? What happened? Are they all gone? No, not completely. Let me see. I, Give me a smile. Oh my oh, goodness! What, what the happened? I feel like you lost some teeth since I last saw you. Yeah, I did. What happened? Some, I've been trying to get them pulled. It was, it was, some of my teeth are almost falling right out of my gums. Are you so not brushing? Just falling out. Are you not brushing your teeth? I don't usually brush them anyways. Why? Why, why not take care of them so that they, they, you don't lose because them? Because I'm going light. to end up getting dentures eventually. Yeah, but they, do your precious teeth try to hold on to them, no? No. Uh, uh, you, look. Uh, oh, God. Farther ah. out there, it's deteriorated right around the gum. That's probably the most gross thing I've uh. ever seen. All right, what? now you have filed a discrimination suit against Vermont? Yeah, against Whoa. Vermont with all the landlords in Vermont, it is the ones that don't want to rent to me. Don't you think they don't want to rent to you because you don't have no money? No, I had money, it is, when I got that $8,000, yeah. and still nobody would want to rent to me. I went to places, it is, and I would have other people go there, it is. He would say he wanted, like, $550 for rent. This is because I went there, it is, and asked him and told him I was a celebrity on Howard Stern. Right. He wants $650. They think you have more money than you have because you're a celebrity. Right. That's what it, you told him was your job? I told him I was... I basically talked to Howard Stern and explained some stuff that is what what I do for Howard Stern. Uh huh. Did you uh, make any money with the record you put out? You, you're singing. I didn't make any money. I made very little bit of money. I made maybe forty dollars out of the whole thing. Of this forty dollars. Yeah. After I'm glad you saw something. And he totally destroyed that. It is he. It was the one that uh, made them all this, and then he turned around and kept them from my manager and me at this, uh, that way we couldn't get them published out in the public. So you're, you're suing Vermont. You yes. say you will not file your taxes next year until you can find housing. Exactly. You're going to end up in jail. I'm telling you, that's what happened. Oh, well, I'm going to put a little pressure. I mean, somebody is tied 
Is this you pressuring? I mean, I mean, you don't. I don't have a, think you really can put much pressure on them by not paying your taxes. Yeah, are you are you uh, such a big income earner that <laughs> how much? Oh, I I don't know. You don't know. You probably I don't made know. more this year. I've than not you've filed ever any taxes for so long. I don't. I don't even remember the last well, year I filed taxes. Well, it might be taxes. because you don't make any money. Uh-oh. There's probably no need for you to do that. Yeah. But well, my know, manager's saying uh, is, is thinks I'm going to get money back. Is I'm not even going to waste my time and uh, do that. Right. How do you get money back though if you're not filing? You, they don't think you exist. Well, well, if I don't exist, it is. I mean, well, at least I exist on the Howard Stern show. Right. Uh, well, that eight thousand dollars, though, you know, you have to pay. You have taxes to declare on. that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know. That's why I figured I put a little pressure on the state. Oh. <laughs> that way, figuring oh, yeah. they tied mental health hands, he tied the naked building's hands, he tied welfare hands, where he can't do anything supposedly for me. He can help the people are on FSU with this and house them in. The housing group it is, yeah. and then he expect me them the me to buy by their curfew. You get any pussy in a housing unit? No, I mean, are you getting any girls? Of course, I get girls oh, once yeah. in a while. When was the last time you got laid? Oh, probably a month ago. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. Oh, all right. So you're getting late. Yeah, I'm getting late eventually. Yeah. All right, that's good. Well, you're unemployed. You can't <laughs> now, find a where job. Where are you sleeping if you have no home? I have a home, and I just can't say where it is, because if I said where it was, the guy would come up there it is and kick me out of where I'm at, and is this way he, get, he can't figure out exactly where I am. Hold I on. Uh, Vermont is calling. Yes, Vermont. Bigfoot, it's Vermont. This is the state of Vermont. This is Vermont. Bigfoot, you'll never, ever live in me. He in says, Maine? No. In, in me. In Vermont. in Vermont. I'm Vermont, Bigfoot. I'm the one that's fucking you over, it is. Good. I'd like to get his little piece of your action it is, and come here and face me at this. I'm a hell of a lot bigger than you are, Bigfoot. I don't care how big you are. It is. You can fall just like the rest of them do. He's the t- entire state of Vermont, so. I got my own zip code. What the fuck do you have? It is. I don't care if you have your own area code. Uh, you know what? I was talking to my buddy, New Hampshire, and he don't fucking want you either. <laughs> I don't want New Hampshire either. You I'm wanted want... down there anyways from hitting the Z28. You know who wants you? Kenya. Wait, you're, Go there. You're, you're wanted in New Hampshire? Yeah. Really? I hit Z28 with a uh, Dodge... Monaco, I believe it was. Right. <laughs> when and, did that happen? Oh, that happened several years ago when I wrapped up a bunch of tickets, is, and the cop told me to wait there. Uh-huh. Oh, what do you think I was going you, to do? You left. Yeah. Right. I, I figured I'd made my welcome <laughs> in that state, and now I'm leaving. You're not going to resort to crime again to support yourself? No, right? no, no, no. I don't need to do that. You yeah. say you have no money, but you I, can I, afford that beautiful, like, El DeBarge leather jacket you're wearing. <laughs> El Where, what, what, How much is that jacket? It already got cuts in it, it is from something it is. And I what do you spend on a jacket like that? How much was that? Yeah, that was only $20. Oh, all right. No. Yeah. No, he, actually, it was $50. Oh. And what, you paid what, for it? You didn't steal it? No, I didn't steal it. How I don't you, steal. How are you getting money? Like, where's money coming from? Oh, I have my little money freezes out there. I yeah. have I have the girls out in Westfield, it is, and uh, I have a what, thing what? here. What do you mean? You get money from women? Are you a pimp? Of course I do. What oh, do you mean? look at you. Whores? Huh? You, you have a whoring business? No, I don't have a whoring business. I have a kind of uh, escort service business. It is wow. Where where this girl paid seventy five dollars and me to spill their decision here it is where he wanted me to pay him a hundred and sixty dollars. What do you do for the women? I don't understand. Oh, I get their little supplies for them, like their beer. It is he want every day. It is and. Uh, uh, supposedly she takes pills it is and stuff it is and and the pills she don't take it is and uh, she claims it is she has a mental illness it is it's the only <laughs> mental illness I've seen her have is her alcoholism right <laughs> and I thought that was supposed to stop years ago this girl came to you and says I'll go out and make money and give you a cut 
Yeah. Yeah. And what do you do? I mean, she takes it right out of her jacket. She gets. uh, She sells her vagina to men? She don't sell her vagina. She is a. um, Oh, uh, lesbian at this. Right. <laughs> and she's had her uh, her boobs operated on it. She's kind of flat chested. Right. All right. But why does she give you money? Because she thinks I'm her little road dog at this, and she beats me up at this um, when I don't do what I'm supposed to do for her. Okay. All she right. thinks she can pound me at this in order there to get me to do what she wants. Right. Bigfoot, what can we do for you? You just seem generally agitated and, and things are going poorly for you. I mean, what is it we can do for you? I don't, I don't have the foggiest idea, actually. That's what I was trying to wonder <laughs> if you could figure out something. Yeah. I, I don't even know what the problem is. Well, you've got I don't even know now. what the problem is either. Uh, I was listening to some people on the street this while I walked down the street and... Um, I went and picked up some tobacco, uh, some regular smoking tobacco. Like, right. uh, not the happy smoke. No, not the happy smoke. <laughs> this was just regular tobacco this time. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, I understand you can't get a job. And you I say can pe- get a job. But they say I just people don't, I'm, not, I'm not looking for one. But people won't rent a place to you because they're afraid of you? They think you're wearing a mask? What? You think it is because of my looks, I'm too scary looking to be out in public. <laughs> <laughs> That's Seriously, what they say is that there a law? Yeah, I've Who heard would... this clear across the street after he had a riot. Is after beating up each other out in out on Main Street, and then I walk down the street. Oh, stay away from that guy. He's scary looking. He might do something to you or hurt you. That's discrimination. Yeah. That's why he's suing. Yeah. That's yeah. why I'm suing. Yep. <laughs> Wow. It's and you even have a certain bars up there. Is they allow me to go in, and he won't even allow me to have a break. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that's on a uh, I mean, that's the kind of bars he got up there. It is. If Why you, do you If live you there? don't fit into their little clique, if you don't know somebody or know somebody else or been in the school with them or something else, you're not into their little clique. Why you know do you what live I'm saying? there, Bigfoot? Yeah. Why don't you move to another state? What do you think it's going to be better? Vermont is the only area I really know very well. I see. And somebody who don't know how to read, I'd get lost in my own backyard oh. if I didn't have a road map that is able to figure out where I was going. So if you can't read, why are you carrying around all those papers? Because I figured somebody else would read them on the <laughs> studio. It is. What do you mean you can't read? You went to school now? Yeah, I went to school. I went to special ed. And you can't read? No. They didn't teach you? No. Or you just can't figure it out? All the times I've been taught how to read, he always found better things to do with this. Like, I started with the learning center at this, and it was this girl, um, I can't remember. I didn't know you didn't know how to read. I didn't either. Anyway, I guessed it. She was a tutor for me for a while, this, and almost got me to learn how to read. And then he found another job for her, or this, her name was Gretchen or something like that. Mm-hmm. Well, I tell you, this is just a terrible story. And anyways, he got her working for a radio station in Newport, this, and then he tore her from me at this uh, that way. Do you not- understand the problem here, Artie? I think, basically, I do, yeah. He's living in... Uh, on planet Earth, and he's not from here. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Where am I from? I mean, you say you're trying to. I to came a out. My mother it is. My so mother wh- don't like, want me. Where are you me. living right now? Is your mother at odds with you? Does your family like you? No, they don't. I'm the black chief of the family. You're the black, black chief. The bl- <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let me ask you something. Why not? What would you do? Let me ask you something. <laughs> Go ahead. You're the same mother that didn't teach you how to read. Right. Is now mad at you. Of course. Why? Because my father told me a long time ago, me and my brother, Jeff, at this. Mm-hmm. And my, even my own brother tried to set me up with a stolen truck, and then he tried me to sell him dope over a jailhouse phone. And I know better than that at this because I've been in jail, and I know he listened on those phones. Right. Because he monitor everything what's going on. Where is your mother now? Is she alive? She's in Newberry, Vermont. And she doesn't want to have anything to do with you? No. When nothing. was the last time you saw her? The last time I saw her is I got a picture. It is when we all met together it is at Hanover Hospital. It is when my father was having a bowel operation because he had trouble shitting out of his <laughs> rectum. I so see. she. So, 
So she has nothing to do with you? Seriously. She yeah. had a blockage. A blockage. She has nothing to do with you now. No, no. She, she probably not you, she, You're probably a lot no. to handle. My father had, had a blockage. blockage. So you went to visit your father, and that was the last time you saw your mother. Yeah. Like, can okay. your father shit now? Yeah, he can. Oh, he can. That's good. <laughs> mm. All right. Well, let me tell you something. Have you ever had a similar problem, Bigfoot? Yeah, I do have a similar problem. You can't shit? No, I have blood that comes out of my record. Oh. Well, yeah, you know why? I see what you And I've heard even people get jealous at this. I shitted in somebody's toilet the other day at this, and he had playing for an hour and a half. And he said, oh, you shit in my toilet. I, I can't have blood in there. Wow, that's dangerous. You better see a doctor. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Line 19, for real. It's Bigfoot's mom. Oh, good. Really? It's your mom. I don't believe it. Mary? Yes. Are you really Bigfoot's mom? Yes, I am. Is this your mom? Yeah, you sounds like her. That's... Hi, Mark. Hi. Hey, you know, Mary, what's going on with you and Bigfoot? How come the two of you can't get along? I think we just lost her. No, she's there. Mary? <laughs> we get along all right. When's the last time you guys saw each other? This seems kind of sad. Well, it was a few months ago when his father was in the hospital. Right. Do, that do, was do, the last time. Do you love your son? Yes. Can, you, could and, he come home to live? No, we don't have a house. We live with our other son. I see. Stephen. Stephen, yeah. Yeah. I see. So so you and your husband live with Stephen, so you couldn't even offer him a place? No. Right. Is he a difficult guy to deal with, the Bigfoot? At times. Yeah. Is that why it's hard for you guys to get together? Yes. Yeah. And would uh, what would you like to see for him? I mean, he's telling me he's uh, d when he defecates, blood comes out of his rectum. It sounds like he's sick. Well, I don't know. I haven't... <laughs> right. I don't know anything about that. Yeah. Too much how come cheese. he never learned how to read? What happened there? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. When did you first realize your son was special? Uh, when he started school, when he was in kindergarten. Yeah. Because things don't seem to be going too well for him now. He's talking about suing Vermont and... I can't yeah. find a place to live. Bigfoot, what would you like to say to your mom right now? Well, I didn't realize she cared about me in this. Well, she didn't say she cared about you. Yeah, do you care about Bigfoot? Yes, I do. Yeah. Are you worried about him? I do worry about him, yes. Yeah. What happened? Did you? How long has it been since you guys were on good terms? Oh, quite a long time. I what see. was the falling out over? I don't really know. But oh. what is the falling out over? Why, why is there a problem? Oh, really, it was a problem. Is my father it is, said we were never going to amount to anything. Oh. Well, he was right. <laughs> right? No, he's not really right. He is. At least I can manage to get on the Stern Show. Well, that's true. That what is about, true. When you say we weren't going to amount to anything, you meant your brothers and sisters? You would say that to as well? No, he just told that uh, Jeff and, um, the, and, and me. Jeff's your other brother? Yeah. Jeff is my other brother, and he's a little off the wall at times. Yeah, I was going to say, so Jeff has not amounted to anything either. Oh, he's amounted to more than I have. At least he has a marriage and ah. uh, has a couple of kids at home and stuff like that, and I'm not even amounted to that. Can yeah. Jeff shit? Huh? Can Jeff shit all right? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Right. So you, do you miss your two, mommy? Two love triangles and everything like that. Why don't like, you say something sweet to your mom now? Maybe you could win yeah, her back. Mother's maybe Day's coming. Mother's Day's coming up. Maybe you could, guys could get on track again. And she then sounds your mom... concerned, Bigfoot. Right. She, yeah. does. she well, does. I, well, I don't know. What it is. It's just, I've been in so alone for so long. It is. It's just. You can't say anything loving to your mom? Happy Mom's Day. and uh, I miss you. I miss love you. you. I love it's you. Happy, happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, Mark. See, I'm good for this family. <laughs> I bring people together. And as much as I don't want your father to have trouble shitting, if it's the only thing that will get you together... <sighs> it's nice you went to see your dad in the hospital. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did do that. Yeah. Now, do you think uh, you could take your mom out for dinner on her special day? You want how to do a... I do that? I don't even know exactly where she lives or how, how to even get to Newberry Marant. She's probably glad. <laughs> yeah, Is that probably. Right, Mary? You, you don't really want to tell him where you live, right? 
Well, he, I gave him my address. Oh, you did? Yeah. Your mom says she gave you the address. Yeah, I know that. I just not had the chance to send a, a picture of the newspaper yet. I've been so busy with paperwork it is with the state and everything and all the landlords discriminizing me and Did you know the the uh landlords are discriminating against your son? Yes, I have heard that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel What would you say Bigfoot's problems are? Uh, I don't know. You don't have any idea? No. Hmm. Do you feel your son needs to be in a hospital of some sort on a regular basis or No. No. no? No. You think he can live okay on his own? Well, he has been for a well, lot of years. But clearly he hasn't, though. You know, he, he's not, not well. He's not well, living no, well. not well, but he has been on his own for a long time. But yeah. what kind of an existence does he have? I mean, look, I, I think you, sh know. you should reach out and try to help him, I think. Well, what do you want her to do? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I think Bigfoot's a guy who needs uh, Guidance, care. Yeah, he care. needs care. He needs people around him. He, he has some medical issues now, and he's trying to sue Vermont. I mean, you can't let him go on like that. He's talking about not paying taxes. He needs help. I mean, I think, you know, he's someone who needs care. What do you think, Mom? You think you could maybe hook up with him and... No, I couldn't. No. <laughs> wow. Uh, why is that? Have you tried everything in oh, your I have tried before. You have, yeah. and you just at the last, you can't do it anymore. How does it go wrong, Mary? Like, like, in other words, when you try to get in with Bigfoot, like, what happens? Is he just start getting angry and stuff? Well. Well, you sound like you're at the end of your rope. Uh, well, I uh, have my husband to take care of. Right. That's all I can manage right now. Yeah. You what sound like a nice lady. She does. What about Steve? What about his brother that you live with? Artie, it just sounds like they don't know what well, to do with Bigfoot. he has his, his wife, and he has his family to take care of. They don't want to take care of Mark? Uh, he can't. I mean, do they want to chip in and maybe maybe should be in a hospital or something? Hospital? How are they going to pay for that? These don't sound like rich people. Well, I mean, the state would have to take care of them. I mean, but you can't, you can't just let him walk into a hospital by himself. You go and you take care of paperwork as his guardian. and you, I mean, I think that's where he needs to be. I can't even keep a guardian. It is. Every time I do get a guardian, it is somebody, an essential person, to read for me or something. He ended up turning around and stealing my girlfriend from me. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You don't want to get involved with those. Well, he I falls mean, in I'm, love I'm his... in a vicious circle whatever way I go. Right. This is sad, right, Mary? Yes, it is. Yeah. Well, I've been through two love triangles, Mom. You know that? No, I didn't know that, Mark. Where I've been bounced from one woman to another it is, and another woman and another guy. and A guy got in there. A guy was in there? <laughs> You know, I mean, did it, you ever tell your mom you had S-E-X with a D-U-D-E? I've had that before. Did you other. know that, Mom? Why is no. Gone? Yeah. He, 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 he. I've been involved in so many different ordeals. It's it, it, it just unascribable. Yeah. Mark, do you feel you need to be in some sort of facility where you're under constant I care? I don't feel like I should be in any facility. Uh, every time he put me in a facility, he put me into a lock ward is right. where I feel like I'm a prisoner in this. Right, yeah. so you don't like and that. I feel like a prisoner either way as I look at it in this. I feel like I'm a prisoner out in public as I'm still doing time for something I've already done time on it, is, and he claiming, oh, we can't help you because of your criminal record. Hmm. Well, who hmm. the hell can help me? Not even your mom can help you. Yeah. I well, where do I go with something like this? We're out of options here. Yeah. You have fallen through the net. Yes, yeah. I've fallen down through the cracks. George That's Bush right. has let you down. Exactly. Those are big cracks. <laughs> well, but Mary, I, I think you have to be honest with each other here. Mary, do you feel do you feel your son is uh, is retarded, like mentally retarded? Well, that's what I was told. No. Oh. So how do you care for a person like that? What do well, you do? I don't know. You just let him go. What are the experts? Say? What's she supposed to do? She doesn't know what to do. She saying. Well, you get him into a halfway house. Halfway right? house. One of those houses. Where you don't even yeah. have a regular assisted house. Assisted living houses where you know people. You don't want to be in a halfway house. Like him, have somebody. Well, I wouldn't to mind being him. in a halfway house as long as he didn't have locked doors and right. tell me what time I have to be in at night. Oh, like well, some, that's what they do. They do. Yeah, always that's tell what he that. do. He that's want you to be up at eight o'clock in the morning. And he want you to be in no, at see, ten o'clock at night. He's difficult. Yes. I mean, I'm not a little kid at this. I know, but your mom can't help you because you don't listen to anybody. 
No, I'm too ignorant to listen to anybody. Exactly. I'm, I'm like a bull in a china shop. Right. <laughs> well, no, he, he is we lovable. Agree on that. He Mary, he is, he is a lovable boy, though. I know. He's a good boy. Yes. He is. He's a good boy. And they've tried to make him out to be bad, but... Yeah, he did some bad things. Oh, well, I know he's done some bad things. He did some time, and he paid for it. Yeah, yeah and I seem like I'm still paying for it. Well, well, you've been paying for it all your life, I guess. Yeah. Well, Mary, I'm sorry to meet you under these circumstances. I wish there was happier news. I, I could offer Bigfoot $500 cash right now. How's that, pal? That would be excellent. At least uh, it would pay for some of the room. I mean, I had to get washed up at a motel room before I even got here. I got it from Vermont Teddy Bear. And you can send your mom. Speaking I would like of you to Vermont, I yeah. would like you to send your mom a teddy bear. A, a teddy bear. I would. A beautiful handmade Vermont teddy bear. All right, I'll do that. It is with the paper right behind it. Do you two have each other's phone numbers? Yes, yeah, we do. My phone number. Oh, well, you should call your mother every once in a while. Tell her I how you're doing. I do once in a while yeah, when I have good news to tell her. Yeah, it's call been me. a long time. And when you call her, don't lay all your problems on her. Just say, hey, Mom, I'm worried about you. I want to know how you're doing. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, make it a nice conversation. Yeah. You but when a, a family... Yeah. That but has... when you got this many troubles, it, it's really hard to not to dump dump them on somebody at least. I know. Well, that's not if, nice. If, if, if you know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. You be I the mean, mom. You're, you're, you want uh, someone uh, to take care of you. Uh, you feel like uh, after a while, uh, everybody brings all your troubles to you. Uh, you feel like you're one big burden to everybody. Uh, uh, you don't feel like you want to be around anybody. Right. You feel like you want to be isolated away from everybody. I understand that. So are you? do you have a girlfriend right now? Not right now, I don't. I'm working on one, and she's really curious as what's going on with me. I got this thing going on with this smell person. It is. Uh huh. Is she still and, locked in your trunk, or are you? Let no, her? she's not locked in my trunk. <laughs> she's right. up to that yard place. It is. All right. And she's trying to get back to me every time I got money. And uh, now I got somebody, uh, another friend of mine, saying I've already got. Another girlfriend? Well, I don't even have another girlfriend. All right. Well, listen, I'm, I'm going to let your mom off the hook because she's probably had an earful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> probably uh, made her ears sore. That's right. Mary, thank you. All right. All right. Very nice. Uh, your mom sounds very lovely. She sounds a little bit beaten by the whole well, experience of being with you. I was a little bit surprised with that. Mary, you, when you, you had must kids. You have been a tough kid. Mary, when you had kids, you never expected this, right? No, I didn't. Uh, right. yeah, this was more than you bargained for. <laughs> <laughs> How many kids did you have, Mary? I have three others besides Mark. Uh, uh, you put, you've done your time. <laughs> yes. Yeah, all right. Well, so here's your, now your reward. <laughs> of the four, so, so Mark and Jeff are off the wall, uh, and the other two are okay? Yes, they are. That's good. Well, all right, two out of four. Hey, isn't if you're betting 500. <laughs> yep. My sister was good. My mom always says that. <laughs> all right, thank you, Mary. All right. all right. And Bigfoot, I want to thank you. Uh, oh, always real quick. enlightening. Your ex landlord is on the phone. Oh, dear. Uh, hi, how are you? Hey, I want to tell you something, okay? Yeah. I made an ass <laughs> of myself. Trying to get to a phone to call you at a specific time. All right, now, now he's directing this toward you, Bigfoot. So let's well, hear I'm it listening. Up. Okay. I'm gonna fly out there for the day, just to straighten you out. Now this guy. Bring it said, on. He sounds mad at you. This Bring is, it on. I would soon take my anger out on somebody. Well, let's listen to what he has to say. Make sure you bring your own band-aids. Well, let's listen to what he says. Go ahead. I'm gonna straighten your ass out. Now. I don't think you could straighten out in your, your own life. All right. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm not going to play it with you either. All right. Let me just say, uh, Robin, what can we say? It's always we great. We can't say anything. This has been amazing. Out what of has us. to happen immediately is you have to get some roughage in your diet. I have learned Oh, yeah. So much Make sure today. you uh, the, the take some coleslaw. That's when you, good bleed, when you bleed from your ass, it can be a sign uh, that something really is going yeah, wrong. Yeah, it could be your colon. That's right. So you need to go to a doctor. Yeah, I know I do. And yeah. I see I've eat. just been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. Yeah, and but I'm, that's not good. Things go bad on you. And you then oh, well, I'm, I'm just like a walking corpse. Oh. You could have bad meat in a can. 
I watched the Bigfoot hey, special. Hey, I should have green now this morning. It is. Uh, who knows what's in me? Maybe I'm marching. You green? Shit, you shit, something green came yeah. out? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and figure out that. I didn't eat nothing green. Was that peppers from a pizza? What does it mean, Fred, when a shit comes out green? I know. I Seriously, I know these shits mean I, something. Yeah, they do. I, you know, let me check on, uh, uh, on they, the internet. Yeah, because there's a, there was a book called uh, Why Do Men Have Nipples? And they would, answered questions about shitting. I would it. usually think like the eight Play-Doh or something. You know? No. Well, if, uh, it usually indicates a bile, I think. I That's a what I'm saying. A lot of bile in your stool. Yeah, let, let's find out. Let's see. Crap, something green. Yeah, you might have a little liver problem. Do you drink an excessive amount? That, I drink okay. a lot of coffee. Yeah. I drink a ton of coffee. You uh, take pills? Could yeah, I take all of, kinds of pills. I didn't take any things. last night. I've been up, I'm not even gone to bed since last night. You take pills to get high or for antidepressant stuff? I take uh, Seroquel. I take uh, stuff for schizophrenic. I take stuff for acid reflux. I take uh, <laughs> uh, Seroquel. I mean, see, all that has to go through the liver. Of course, what it has is, to go through uh, the liver. Whatever Benji, goes through the stomach has to pass through the liver. Have you found on the internet, Benji? Don't you know, you know yeah, that much well, about your stomach? It, it, it could be a sign Sorry, of uh, salmonella. Salmonella. Oh, come on! It no, could no, be no, uh, no, giardia. No, no. Get out of What's here. What's Giardia? That's it's another like a, parasite. In, in water, usually. Okay, this, this, uh, he's going down the wrong path. It's right. either too much, uh, like, leafy green vegetables can also be caused by an excess of iron in the diet from dietary supplements, Did although I don't iron? think he's taking that. Right. Uh, he doesn't eat vegetables. Let's see. How do you know he's wrong? Once in a while. Salmonella could be. This can happen when a person is affected with diarrhea. Mm-hmm. Do you have a lot of diarrhea? Uh, depending if I eat cheese. Mm. <laughs> What's... <laughs> What's the texture, Bigfoot? This is becoming the most gross conversation I've ever had. But Why are we here? Hey, Bigfoot, on, on the on the Howard TV special, I saw you eat that pizza. How how often do you eat a pizza like that? Oh, about once a month. A you whole have a pizza. whole pie like that? Yeah, usually. What uh, what do you eat? Sometimes on a I usually eat more than that. But on a, what about on a normal day? In a normal day, it depends on how hungry I get, depending on how long I'm on the road. If you have that much cheese, I can uh, see Like what in I'm... one day, I've eaten like a 32-inch grinder all in one day. Wait does, a he, second. does he eat a lot of ice cream Do you eat ice cake cream? frosting? No. Hey, wait. Uh, your uh, your uh, ex-landlord is on the phone. Yeah. How long do you think I should wait for the money? <laughs> oh, this guy says you owe him money. Oh, yeah. How long should I wait for the five grand, you cocksucker? What five grand? Five grand. What are you talking about? Who are you? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. I what? haven't gotten paid yet. When am I getting the check? What check? I don't know. Let me tell you something. You, 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 I sold that. I'll have, have to go out to Lynn and Linda and, and, and write you out one. And you said <laughs> I'll give you $5,000. When did I supposedly say that? I mean, Piss me off. I mean, I want you to call me. Oh, come right up here and just see you. Never. I never got a fucking phone call from you. <laughs> You're really fucking pissing me off. You really are. Uh, bring it on. But what does that have to do with anything? Do we got to draw you a map how to get to the studio? <laughs> this was completely out of line, man. What are you trying out? Not to pay me? Is that is that the experiment we're working with? <laughs> oh, it could be. What does that have to do with getting money that's owed to me? It's my money. Take me to court. Hey, that works. Yeah, it is. It's I have the judge you to come out and just took you him care of. Shit. What was that, sir? You're a fucking loser <laughs> faggot. Oh. I know that. Piece of shit. This Tell me something I don't know. This guy's rude. Faggot. He's an asshole. Whoever this is is out of line. You're yeah. saying stupid shit. All right. Thank you, sir. No. All right. <laughs> Well, that was pretty harsh. Bigfoot yeah, has a lot Bigfoot, of I'm giving I've you, had worse. I'm giving you five hundred dollars from Vermont Teddy Bear, so I hope you can use that money. I know you can. Of course, I can. And uh, good luck to you. Yep. I really mean it. Yep. I know you're a little boy inside. I know that. You suck your thumb at night, don't you? When you yes, sleep? I do. Yeah, and I even got a picture to prove it. Right. I know. I believe you. Yeah. I, I was told that you suck your thumb. Does he wet his bed? Do you wet the bed? No. Nope. You do not. No. Nope. The sweat. From the your only back. time I ever do that is when I have a seizure. Why do you suck your thumb? Do you think it's uh... uh one reason it is, and when I dream it is like the, uh, that incident with the pickup truck it is running into the wrecker. Mm-hmm. I dreamed about a couple nights before then that truck loosening up and rolling down that uh, Dane Denico Hill. Wow! Before uh, the well, truck was given it. to me. 
Well, I want you to know that I think you're terrific. <laughs> and believe me, I was almost rolled over by it. Wow. You what is it, Johnny? Healthy. Johnny Thank in the Bronx. Thank goodness you woke up. Huh? Thank goodness you well, woke up. I woke up. He said it was a that dream. was just the dream. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny came to real yeah. life. Johnny, oh. go ahead. You're on the air. Yeah. If this guy can't read, Howard, how the fuck is he driving a car? <laughs> because I studied the <laughs> test and memorized it, dummy. How did you pass the written test? Yeah, he you didn't give me a written test. Orally. Oral oh, test. Oral test, test, yes. You didn't have a written test before? You, right. You have oral to pass test, he had four people who don't know how to read or write. My father don't even oh, know how to read or write. Wow. Well, right. I think it's how some... How the fuck did he get here? <laughs> By my manager, stupid. Yeah, stupid. Can you read fucker. at all, Bigfoot, or is it... Uh, I can read stop signs, and I can read, uh, read yield signs, it is, and I can read uh, do not uh, enter. <laughs> do not this? enter. He can in read. one way, too. Okay. Can you read no freaks aloud, too? Oh, uh, that's, not, that's not called for. Yes, yeah. Artie. What does this can say, Bigfoot? Some kind of cola brink. Okay. See, he can't cola read brink. that. It says Hawaiian punch. Yeah, we were close oh, enough. Sure How's he, he can read. He can read. What? Well, he he says, can't read. He says he no, can, I can't. In terms of, could he read that, considering that's a... Can you read that? Yeah, that that would be a... a that's a, a stop sign. Ah! See? Right, I job. was curious, maybe if it was the red color or the shape, but he knows how to read that. All right, well, yeah. listen, Bigfoot, I wish you luck. I do. I know you're struggling. Can you struggling. say your ABC? Yeah, I am. I'm wickedly struggling with it. I have, I've had to change the battery in my car. I've had to have training worked on four times. Who are you supporting in the next election? Presidential election. <laughs> I'm supporting myself. All right. No, no, no. But no, any of the candidates. I think I'd be You're a running? president of any vote? of the ones that ever oh, been president. Really? Would you get us out of Iraq? I'd just take them, all the troops right out of Iraq and bomb the whole fucking area. All right. Nuke yeah. them. Well, you got to. Oh, wow. Yeah, I like well, it. Well, he's radical. You got to start leading a healthy life, though, because, you know, see, the end is near when you stop shitting. When you can't shit, eventually you go. Oh, crazy. don't worry. I make sure I shit every day. Is if I have to make even think about you, it is, and I <laughs> <laughs> nice. mo moan over it. Uh, who, did, uh, who, did, uh, who got upset that you shit in their place? I couldn't imagine you being a guest somewhere. Oh, some girl named Jane. And you She's a big heifer. It's about the size of a house. <laughs> and you shit in her in her bathroom? Yeah, and I shit in her bathroom. And this guy, this guy Ronnie, is, oh, imagine? he's a prep and a half. Of this. He leaves in spirits and goblins and uh, and, and, and and witches. You're and, not even buying into that stuff. No. And he said, and he said, uh, I mean, between him talking to me and me talking to him, it's like Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> Seriously. Well, he, he, in other words, asked you not to shit in the bathroom because there was, he yeah, saw there was he blood. Yeah, he was a little offended. That, uh, he had to sleep with Jane, the big house did he, girl. Did, but how did he the see house. the blood in the toilet? If you oh. Did you flush the toilet? I don't know. I don't pay no attention to the toilet. No, I mean, after you shit, do you flush the toilet? I did flush it. And I guess all of it didn't go down. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. And when said, I take a load, believe me, um, it can be quite a load at times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, then you better start looking back. Make sure when you're in somebody else's house that you clean it out. And do you wipe your ass properly? Like, how am I supposed to tell that when Flush the light switch don't time. work? Oh, the light switch doesn't work. Hey, hey, wait, there's a guy on the phone. He says he's your neighbor and he wants you out of the neighborhood. Yes, go ahead, Gary. I'll tell you something. Well, I'll tell you something right now, you fucking asshole. I now look at you and see you for the human piece of shit that you are. Why are you mad at Bigfoot? Want me to put some shit down on your me. front lawn? Which one of us has been to jail? Not me. Oh, a big fucking deal. You not been to jail? Want me to show you what it's like? I'll bring you right there. Yeah, go take another In Cadillac in style. <laughs> what is that, sir? Yeah, go take another hairbrush in your ass. Oh, boy. Say it again one more time so I get a fucking restraining order against you and you go in jail. Oh, go right ass. ahead. You want to be the first one I've had put on me? You are a fucking piece of shit. All right. Thank you, wow. sir. He's obviously... <laughs> Bigfoot, it does sound, though, like you have a lot of friends. Oh, yeah. He just <laughs> loved me up there. I... I... Oh, you got to hear... Do you have to take a shit? Can you, Howard, you TV, can Howard TV film you? For, for, uh, do you have to take a shit now? No, not right now, I don't. No, well, maybe if you're here later, uh, they'll film you for taking a shit. Yeah. Well, that would have that you be shit lovely? yet today? Yeah. Have you shit oh, I got there? a lot of gas in me. You wouldn't want to smell the wow. gas. It might, might curdle your soda.
No, you're right about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, Bigfoot, I love you, and I hope everything works out for you. Yeah, anyways, yeah. I walked in this liquor store. And this Bigfoot, girl, I'm winding down. And anyways, this bottle, oh, this <laughs> girl stole a bottle of liquor, it is. Yeah. Just because I was standing in the store, I got kicked out of the store, it is. Just because I was standing there, and I was the one driving the car. And you had nothing to do with her. And I had nothing to do with it. Nothing. Did, Did you see? And I got a restraining it? order not to go in there. Oh mm-hmm. dear! They put a and restraining order on you. Yeah, he put. This a was spr- a stranger. This girl. You didn't even know the girl. Yeah, and I didn't even know the girl. This just because she was riding in my car. Why What's was she, she in your car? In your car, if you don't. Because know her. she wanted to ride. And she was supposed to go buy some liquor. How did you meet her? So you did know her. I knew her through another friend of mine. It used to be. Uh, oh, so she said she was going to buy liquor. She stole it. And, and they you drove her to the store. Well, right. he thought you and were then, an accomplice. Right. right. And, and yeah, and he probably did say that I was an accomplice, and I weren't. Oh, I was well. just an innocent bystander. Hey, there's a guy on the phone who wants to have gay sex with you. <sighs> oh, and God. Know, come on. What you eat? Hi. Big fan. Big, big fan. Good. I'll give you a bucket of chicken for a hand job. <laughs> wow. Would you have Which a... Which hand do you want? Would you give Can this... Can I ask you a serious question? Go ahead. When will I get tired of sucking cock? Did you ever get tired of sucking cock? I never sucked cock. Oh, that's right. You took it in the ass, right? No, I I had him suck my cock. Oh, okay. Oh, my. Hmm. I could lick a man's balls with his dick in my mouth. Wow. I once sucked a black cock. It, it was so big, I puked all over his balls. <laughs> you puked on his balls? <laughs> hey, that sounds like that girl Jane, what she did to me is when she sucked my balls. What are you, a fucking comedian? <laughs> yeah, I try to be. Tickle my lungs with your huge cock. Well, if you... I did that, then your, uh, your uh, uh, Adam's apple would be dying for more. You looked like the last shit I took. <laughs> okay. Well, listen, you sound like a very nice man. Hickory dickory dock. I can suck my own cock. Hickory dickory I wouldn't dude. doubt that. I can suck your cock, too. You're not going to suck mine. Well, why not? Stuff my sacky boy. He probably has eight. Oh. All right. Thank you. I love a hot load on my face. <laughs> All right. You've said enough. <laughs> I'll call back in five minutes. All right. All right thank you. Go yeah. Fuck yourself. <laughs> Get this fuck water off the air. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, he's about to get off the air. Bigfoot, thank you. Five hundred dollars from Vermont Teddy Bear. Yep. We wish like, you the best, and yep. uh, we'll be don't back. Don't spend it all. Oh, in one don't place. forget the pictures that we got on the internet too. Oh, okay. Where is that? Let's see the website. Yes, Guiding Light Marketing at yahoo.com. Bigfoot yep. and get him in for appearances, and that would help him out. He'd like to appear at your parties. Yep, and, and he uh, will be signed by me too. All right, wow. and he's willing to make autographs as part of his fee. Uh, he Wonderful. does a lot of things. What kind of money do you charge for someone to show up at a party? I do don't know. You would have to ask my manager okay, that. That's he's fair the one doing that stuff. I understand. <laughs> Hey, Bigfoot. Yeah, well, yeah. You, you addressed a lot of your problems in there today. Yeah, I did. Do you feel better now that you got to talk to yeah, Howard I about them? Yeah, I did feel better. It is. It gets off my chest. I talked to my mother, it is, and she sounds like she's really impressed when I'm when I'm doing it. Is. So it was like therapy almost. Yeah, it was like therapy. It is talking to the family, it is, and talking to Howard and everything, and... Just getting it all out there. Yeah, getting it all out there and letting everybody know how I feel. Now, how long has it been since you've talked with your mother? It's been about three or four months. So it was good to just get her on the air and get yeah, her on the Yeah, it was nice to get her on there. I was surprised. And now you can send her a teddy bear. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, uh, what's next for Bigfoot? I don't know. It's hard knowing it is with me. It's from one thing to the next, you just never know what's going to come up next. Taking it one day at a time. Exactly. That's the only way you can take it. All right, Bigfoot. Thanks for stopping by, man. No problem. Good seeing you, bud. Yeah.